the sun's kind of just like in my face right now but let's get started i'm going to first prep my lips with a little bit of the nasific vegan lip glow this is something i've been loving a lot lately not necessarily quite new to my collection because i've been using it a lot but i find this one just really hydrating on the lips and it doesn't really interfere with my lip makeup in the future and also has a really nice icicle scent like the you know like the lemonade flavored like icicle it's just a really nice one there's also a tinted one which i couldn't find for the life of me today i wanted to use that one on camera but this one's just as good can we see how plump and juicy my lips already look so i really love this one and yeah i really recommend it it's a decent price as well now we're going to start officially with the makeup and I have with me a new primer. This is from Hins. This is the Hins Second Skin Hydrating Primer. This is a hydrating primer, so I do think it is going to be amazing for winter, which is coming up where I usually have literally the driest skin ever. So I wanted to try this one out. Doesn't really have a scent or anything and yeah, let's just apply it to the face. I literally just swipe it onto my skin. I find that my sponge in swiping motions for primer is so good because it's fast, it's easy, and it spreads really evenly because of these fibers within this sponge. I cannot live without this sponge, literally. I always have backups of this. Skin looks nice and dewy. We're just going to give it a few seconds for it to settle in. Otherwise, it might bunch with our base but I don't really have anything new for my complexion too much so I'm just going to use as you can see my clear co short kill cover fawn wear cushion foundation I've been loving this one honestly ever since I gotten it I find that it gives such a natural finish to your face but also good coverage and it's just a really nice one it's quick and easy and it looks adorable so I'm going to just apply this all over the face I still can't get over the imprints they're just so beautiful but they look more like for dog paws rather than cats I don't know it looks cute there we are foundation applied can we see how flawless my skin just looks it's still my skin but it has that better coverage and i just love how skin like this is clear is literally one of my favorite brands for a reason i just do a full face of clear i think i have enough products let me know if you want to see that now before i set my face and go on with the rest of my skin and complexion i do want to use another cream product this is the rare beauty bronzer stick i'm pretty sure it's called something really inspiring let me just get the packaging uh the warm wishes effortless bronzer stick yes i picked this up during the sephora sale so got a good discount on it and yeah i've always wanted to try this one but i just never gotten it i thought i wasn't a bronzer person but i picked up the shade bright side which is actually a cool toned bronzer stick which i'm going to use as my contour i do find myself to be more a contour type of girl contour and blush rather than bronzer and blush i do find bronzer a little bit redundant but i do like contour because it chisels the face and gives me more definition so let's apply this i have used this a few times and i really like it it's just so easy to use so because it is a contour, so a little bit more cool tone, I like to place it underneath my cheekbones because the whole point of contour is to actually create shadows rather than warm up your skin. That's why I get confused when there's brands that's like, it's a contour and bronzer in one. No, it's not. You can choose only one. It's either cool tone or warm tone. You could be a cool tone and still use, you know, some contour products as bronzer, but bronzer is mainly for warmth. So I get confused when, you know, brands advertise themselves as bronzer and contour. But yeah, I do like to contour a lot because I have a huge forehead and I want to pull back some features. A little bit on the nose too. And on the eyes. So now I have it all in place. I'm just going to use my sponge and blend it out. You will see how easy this blends out. Right? It is so pretty and it blends so seamlessly into the skin. It doesn't look harsh. And the thing is, I find some products when you put it on your face for too long, it does dry up and become really splotchy and hard to use, but not this product. It just oh, works so beautifully. Instantly, my face looks a little bit more chiseled, so really like that. I do like to put some on the jawline and emphasize, you know, that sharp angle here. look at that my skin looks still really skin like and normal and natural but you can see it's a little bit more shadowed down and there's more definitions on my face i've been using this contour stick so much lately and 
I'm so happy to have it because it's convenient, it's easy to blend, and it just looks so pretty as well. I cannot recommend this enough. So yeah, really loving that. Another win from Rare Beauty. I did actually also pick up the Rare Beauty lip oil, but I'm not testing it in today's video. I want to do a dedicated video for that one, so that should be coming up. But now we have all the creams and I guess the wet products down. I'm going to set my face lightly with no new product this time. This is a Too Cool for School R Class by Rodine powder. Um, finish definition whatever it's called it's a finishing powder from too cool for school one of my favorite brands i just find them really versatile and again in theme of natural skin like finish this has micro shimmers in it and i'm just going to use a big fluffy brush and powder my face be very light and gentle when you're setting your face this is something i learned i used to press my powder in and then buff it in that's not good you want to make it very thin and just coat your brush ever so slightly and then just you know touch of like a butterfly wing or something just be very gentle otherwise it will move everything around and it will not be a cute look it will peel and then just no <laughs> also set the under jaw part where we put our bronzer because otherwise it's going to move everywhere. You don't want it on your shirt or your clo like clothes. Like It's not a good vibe. Now we're going to move on to some new base products, which I'm really excited about. So first of all, I have a blush duo from the brand Hakit. This is a brand I've never really used before or heard of. I did see it on Olive Young and I thought, you know, it's a new brand. Let's try it out. I love new brands and new products. And they also came with a brush as well. So it was one of those special kits. And this brush is so soft and beautiful. I'm in love with the shape as well. It's a little bit tapered and it's just the right amount of consistency and fluffiness as well as density. So here it is. I got this in the shade 01 Charming and it comes with a lighter shade and a darker shade. So this is perfect for me. You guys know I love using two different blushes. This is on the warmer side of blush and you guys know I love applying blush in two different steps. I'm gonna take the lighter color out of the two and just coat it very gently all over my brush. You can see it's a very light color, almost like a setting powder. <coughs> and I'm gently placing it on the center of my face very mattifying it is a matte formula i did expect that but it's almost airbrushing my skin can you guys see that i don't know if it's picking up on camera the way it is in real life it just looks really pretty anyway so i like to place the lightest shade on the center of my face and then do a little ombre situation so it looks more naturally faded in so I'm going to pick up a little bit more and do it on the other side of my cheek oh that is really cute it's very subtle you can barely see it but if you look a little bit more up close, you can see your skin looks a little bit more pinkier and more plump as well. I've been loving this method. Now we're going to take the slightly darker shade and we're going to use this to deepen your cheeks and give it more feature. So what you want to do is place it almost at the end of your cheeks and slowly tap it in so it blends in with where you place the lightest shade earlier. This way it just blends again more seamlessly and looks more natural. I'm using tapping motions rather than, you know, buffing because this has a more, I guess, flatter shape. It is a very gentle flush to your cheeks, but it just gives the right amount of warmth and color and so flattering. I really like this. I've been back into my matte blushes and then adding shimmer on top of it. I just think it gives you more like an option. You don't want shimmer all the way, but yeah, this is really pretty. It's just a little bit light in pigmentation, so if you're someone who's into really pigmented blush, this might not be for you, but this is great for me. I really want something that's a bit more natural and subtle. And I do like to take a little bit on my nose as well, and chin, and just some sweep it on the forehead. So everything, again, like I said, it's all about being cohesive and everything blending together. But now let's move on to the next product, which I'm so, so keen about as well. This is a new highlighter from the brand Glint. Again, a brand I've never tried before, but here's the catch. This is a multi-chrome highlighter. So at first, it looks like this icy white shade, right? But it is actually a pink duochrome. I don't know if it's catching on my phone camera, but it is the most interesting reflection, the most unique shade in my collection. Oh, there we go. I think that's really showing it off. And I am just so wowed by it because I've never had anything like this. And... Oh my goodness, 
it just looked so beautiful and I thought I really wanted to try it and I've been really into my duochromes and just shimmers again so I was looking at the Pat McGrath palette and I really wanted the Divine Rose one and mainly for the shade where it was a white pink duochrome but I'm not going to buy a whole palette just for one shade especially if it's like $200 and also I'm not a huge fan of the fact that Divine Rose one has a repeated shade with Midnight Sun which I already have so do I really need nine new shades but especially want this one. So I was like, you know what? Let me find a dupe. And this highlighter looked so amazing and perfect. And I thought it's K-Beauty as well. So I know I love a lot of the more subtle looks of K-Beauty. So yeah, here it is. And this I'm pretty sure is a collaboration between Glint and an influencer. Um, I'm not too sure about her name. I think she's Ju. I've never actually watched her, but this product really caught my attention. I'm going to take a highlighter brush and just gently tap it in there. Okay, so we can see there's a little bit of fallout. Not too bad, but there is some considerable fallout. Um, and just going to apply it on the high points on my face. Is this showing up as much as it, I want to? I can't really see, but in the mirror of my cushion compact, it looks beautiful. It's like a blush topper. Oh my gosh, that is really pretty. Anyway, I hope it's showing up on camera and doing it justice because... It looks stunning. Now let's apply it on this side. It's a little bit more bling than what I'm used to. And a little bit of a complaint is when I do look from the front of my face, I can see a little bit of like a white almost cast to it because it is more of an icy and cooler tone highlighter, which I'm more of a warm tone person. So I kind of expected that to happen. It's not too big of a deal just because it has that pink reflex. So it looks like I have blush on. But yeah, let's put some on the nose as well. Oh, this is just really pretty. I think this really overpowered my blush, actually. My blush suddenly looks like it's non-existent. It's very, very pigmented, actually. I didn't expect that. Okay. Under the sun, it looks stunning, though. I do think I went a little bit crazy on this side of my face. So I'm going to just use my sponge and try to... Tone that down a tad. Forgot to say, this is the shade 04 Milky Moon. This, I think it's just called the Glint Highlighter. I'm not too sure if I'm being honest. I bought it on Olive Young. Can't remember what it's called. But yeah, looking cute. I do like that. So now let's move on to the next part of my face. Next up is another newer release. This is, again, K-Beauty. I'm in love with K-Beauty. You guys know that. This is from Roman. This is their Bare Layer Palette. First of all, how pretty is this packaging? It looks like it's underwater and you have water ripples and waves. But this is a face and eyeshadow palette. You have a giant blush here. You have five eyeshadows. Well, you actually have six because this one has two tones. You have a beautiful glitter topper. Again, that duochrome pink, white, gold. And then you have a pure pink shimmer here. And then you have three, well, four mattes. And this is the shade 01 Apricot mood it is a warm tone palette there's another one that came out with a can't remember what it's called but it's more pink and cool tone more like a blueberry vibes but again i just love these softer shades and i've been getting back into pink eyeshadows one complaint is these two shadows look identical i mean yeah <laughs> this is a blush so it's bigger i guess but they look very similar i do find the pan and packaging really weird but the more i look at it the more cute it gets to me so I'm liking it. I love the heart. I love the little circle. It just looks really pretty. And yeah, I haven't used Roman eyeshadow in a hot minute. So let's get to that. I did swatch the shimmers because I was just too intrigued. And they are absolutely insane. Let me swatch it for you guys again. <gasps> right. Oh my gosh. So this is the white gold shimmer and this is the pink. You can see how beautiful and reflective they are. This highlighter looked stunning, but next to these, I'm telling you, K-Beauty glitters are no joke. But let's quickly do an eye look for today. I'm going to use a big flat brush and I'm first going to take the top matte, which is the lightest shade in the palette. And I'm going to just set the face. Set the eyes, not face. Again, complaint is no mirror, so you do need to be in front of a mirror. I'm going to use my cushion foundation one. Next, going to take a more detailed brush, and I'm going to actually take this darker pink matte and deepen the, what is that called? The lower of your top eyelid. 
Anyway, I'm going to just deepen the closest part to my lashes and make it a little bit more bolder, otherwise it's a little bit non-existent. Now I'm going to take the top half of this brown shade and use it to deepen the outer corners. I'm going to trace this shade on the lower lash line as well. I'm going to actually take a tiny detailed brush and then pack the darkest shade in this palette, which is this kind of cocoa brown shade. I'm also smoking out the underlines just to make it a little bit more snatched back. Now I'm going to go with the pink shade and then put the super sparkly on the inner corner so it's like an ombre. Let's do that. Now I'm going to get a super fine liner brush and use that super sparkly shade on the inner corners. Look how pretty that is. It is a very soft formula, though I want to show you guys when I dip my brush into it, you can see it's already making dents, which I don't think is a big issue because the fallout isn't crazy. Now I'm going to quickly do the rest of my eyes, my brows, eyeliner, mascara and all that and we'll be back for the lips. We are back with mascara, eyebrows and everything. Just wanted to give a quick breakdown of what I use. So for brows, I use my Apu, what is this, Skinny Brow Cara. So it's a tinted brow gel, I just sweeped it through really nice and easy and Look how fine and precise that tip is. It is so good. I love this one. Been using it a lot, trying to finish it up actually. And for eyeliner, I used my good old Patrick Ta. I've been just loving Patrick Ta. Uh, this is their Precise Gel Liner in Deep Bronze. One complaint though is I think the actual eyeliner is like falling out. So that's not a good thing, but I do love how creamy it is and deep bronze is slightly shimmery. So I think that really matches our looks today. And for my mascara, I used the same Perfect Curling Mascara. This is something I'm back into. It gives really like defined and long wispy lashes and it lasts all day. And the thing is, this is super affordable. I think it's like seven bucks. It's really good. But yeah, now we're going to move on to the last step, which are our lips. I'm going to wipe off this lip balm just so we have a more clean canvas but i have two products i want to test out today so the first one is from too cool for school again so this is the new kiss me i can't read the korean this is the kiss me i think blur fudge tint or something like that and this is in the shade 05 red rich so this is a beautiful warm red and it's meant to be a very watery consistency when you first apply it and then it dries down to a more fudgy matte tint and the second product i want to test is the kaja glossy shot gloss shot sorry so kaja is a brand i've never really used in the past but i've seen it everywhere all over the internet and i got this in the shade 03 honey drizzle you can see it also has micro shimmers in it it is just oh, it just looks so beautiful and i haven't had an opaque nude gloss in a long time so let's try it out and first i'm going to apply this beautiful too cool for school lip tint very typical applicated slightly slanted and let's go for it ah oh, it's very red <laughs> very watery very thin texture almost like a lip oil mm, spreads really nicely there's a slight floral scent not something you can actually smell too much i had to really get in there <laughs> mm. already it's kind of thinned out and I feel like it's mattifying, which is really nice. That's a really quick dry down. Comfortable, it doesn't really settle into my lines. It's been like 10 seconds. Let's give it a kiss test. A little bit of, you know, staining and I guess transfer, but not too bad. Let me just put on another coat. I want it to be a bit more intense. Like that. That is a really cute color. I'm actually really vibing with it. The thing about Korean lip tint is you can really get a super vibrant color and just lighten it down because you put on such thin layers and I really like how you can build opacity. It's a beautiful flaming red. There we are. It's just a very typical lip tint, I would say. Watery at first and dries down. Quite nice color and like pigment payoff, I think. So this is a cute one. I really like the packaging. It's very long and sleek. It has a silicone kind of covering and a glossy top. I do like it. And now let's try Honey Drizzle. Ooh, 
on my hand it looks a little bit more bricky actually but let's try this Kaja lip gloss I've never tried Kaja before so this is really exciting to me it has a I get bent in kind of doe foot applicator to really hold in as much gloss as possible which I think is nice because a lot of people really love to pile on their gloss and like I said it's a very nice nude color so let's swatch that out oh that's a really bad swatch ah that's better there we go here it is you can't really see the shimmers within the gloss once you put it on but yeah that's very nice oh I got a strong whiff of fragrance. This is very vanilla. It's like a vanilla pound cake situation, but it is reflective. And yeah, let's just put it on the high points of our lips and call it a day. Oh, it is very glossy. It's been a while since I've actually applied some lip gloss. I'm kind of out of the lip gloss phase. I usually just use a glossy lip tint. Oh, this is making my lips juicy to the max. Can we see that? That is a juicy and cute ombre lip. That was up close and personal, I'm sorry about that, but mm, it's nice. It doesn't pull any strings, it's not sticky. Really nice. I am impressed. Oh, that is a killer combination because you have this kind of nudie color to balance out that bright red and oh my goodness. Okay, that is really, really pretty and I think the shimmer is showing a little bit more once I thinned it out on my arm swatch. The shimmer is not very obvious, but it does give your lips that plump and juice. And I can't stop looking at my lips right now. It is just, mmm, it looks really yummy. I love it. But that's it for all the new makeup trial. Let me just clean my hands and we'll come back and do a final review. All right, guys, we are back. So let's do a round of all these products I've tried today. I must say I am as usual blown away by the quality of some of these products but let's do a quick round up first of all is this primer i haven't really seen any you know obvious effects of it just because i haven't applied it long enough it's only been an hour and an hour and a half but my skin looks plump everything laid on really nicely i did use a you know foundation that is tried and true and i know works for me so you know if it m melts really nicely with it that means it's working it's good it's nothing outstanding or special it doesn't have any special claims it's just hydrating which i think is really good for just like a beginner or minimalist collection and i do think i will enjoy it a lot in the winter time like i mentioned earlier so this one nothing super special a little bit on the pricey side so i guess this is a 7 out of 10 and i want to also just talk about this rare beauty bronzer stick again absolutely a phenomenal you can see how natural it looks but it did give my skin that shading that i needed and even underneath the neck it looks really really good i am so happy with it it's giving me the jawline i never had and i just think this one is so user friendly it looks really scary and pigmented but once you blend out it blends so nicely it's just an amazing product i have actually experimented with this underneath all my foundation and it works just as well you don't have to blend as hard which is a great thing so i might do a video where i show you guys the different ways i apply my skin products so sometimes i like to use my color corrector and this bronzer contour stick underneath it this one phenomenal blends like a dream is not super pigmented but you can definitely build it up so this one is a solid 9 out of 10. the only complaint i have for this is I'm not a big fan of the cap it slides off super easily and I find that sometimes when it rolls around in my makeup bag it just falls out which is not a good thing but everything apart from that is cute the packaging is easy to use and I really like it next is this Hakit blush I didn't expect myself to like it as much as I do this is a very soft cloud-like formula it's very very finely milled it's almost like silk and the colors are just ones I know I'm going to reach for a lot and it's very convenient you have the lighter shade and then darker shade to make that ombre blush effect which usually I do have to take two blushes to do so this one's very considerate very beautiful and I do like the brush that comes with it. it is so soft and easy to pick up products I love the tapered shape everything about it is just incredible so this one's a win for me I also do like the highlighter it's just a little bit pigmented for my liking it is a little bit too pink when I layer it on but again it could be my issue I might have accidentally picked up too much you can see how from here you can see a little bit of a white shine but once I tilt my head 
it's more pinky so i do like that i'm going to experiment this a little bit more but definitely going to use this as an eyeshadow i'm very excited for this and yeah i think this one a solid 8 out of 10 eyeshadow and face palette from roman this one is a 10 out of 10 for me or is it 10 out of 10 nine and a half out of ten just because the blush shade and the top eyeshadow they look identical to me i think they could have really done with another color here i think maybe a little bit more of a color variance would be nice they're very similar you can't tell the difference if you put these two on the lids or cheeks so yeah it can take off 0 0.5 marks but i do love the shimmer in here it is incredibly reflective and beautiful and the formula is just so soft and nice i can see myself using this on the go and just a lot i also do think i can use these as my brow shades the dark browns i just didn't today i just don't know why i missed out i kind of just wanted to use my brow gel i'm in that phase where i'm just panning products like crazy and i want to focus on them so yeah i think this is quite a versatile palette although it wanted more color variation the lippies are an absolute win for me i wouldn't say this lip gloss is my favorite formula but for something that i am trying out i do enjoy it lots the color is cute and i do think it is very wearable either by itself with a lip liner or as like a topper with another lip product so i think this is quite nice i would give it a solid 8 out of 10 just because because nothing super special and I don't like the fragrance. I'm not a big fan of vanillas in general. Vanillas, coconuts, those just aren't my thing. But yeah, I think it's cute. If you want it, go for it. But this lip tint, I do like a lot. The color was a bit scary at first, but the Shira Down version, I think it looks beautiful. I can see myself wearing this so much. I've been into like a brighter lip just lately because my eyeshadow is usually quite tame. This is a bit too glam for me like compared to my usual looks just because i'm very shy with my eyeshadow and makeup in general especially when i do go to work or go to uni so i do like to play up my lips a lot so i really like to have a bold lip and this is something i can see myself wearing a lot the formula is one that i do like it's very watery but then it dries down to a matte so this is a beautiful one I would say this is a 10 out of 10. Great product. This is actually from the brand Kiss Me Heroin. This is a Japanese brand and they make the liners and mascaras. I'll put a pop-up picture. Those are the ones I love from the brand. I've tried those and love it. So when they released this, I had to pick it up. I don't know why I was under the impression this is from Too Cool For School. I think it's because there was another lip release from them I wanted, but I bought this one instead. So yeah, this is from Kiss Me, not Too Cool For School. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and saw some new products to try out in your collection. And yeah, I'll probably try to give more updates on these products in future videos. But stay tuned and let me know down below what type of videos you would like to see in the future. But aside from that, that is it for today. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up or even subscribe to my channel. That would mean so much to me and I'll see you guys for the next video.